Hey guys, Jay here with Word of Advice TV. In this video, I'll be explaining the difference between a common, a neutral, and a ground. And I even employed my stellar artistic skills and drew a little picture to help with the explanation. As always, I'll try to explain this in the most simple way possible, but as you're watching this, if you have any corrections or further explanations to anything I say, we would love to hear from you in the comment section below. So let's begin and I'll get the easy one out of the way first and that is the difference between a neutral and a common. And really those two are pretty much the same thing, they're interchangeable. If you call a neutral a common and a common a neutral, usually you'll get away with it just fine. But actually they are a little bit different and here is why. Common is a term used when there's a common return point in a circuit sharing many inputs. And translated to English, that just simply means that a bunch of wires go to the same place. For example, if you take a bedroom that has four outlets in it, and the common wire from all four of those outlets, they all go to the same point. That would be the common return point. And that about sums up where the word common comes from. And the term neutral is usually used when referring to a return leg of a circuit. For example, a power pole on the street will have two hot legs coming into the breaker panel in a house, basically two hot wires and then it'll have one return leg going back out to the pole. That would be the neutral. Now the ground is a little bit more interesting, and yes, there is a difference between a neutral and a ground. A common wire can and does carry current through it, or basically there's power going through it, whereas a ground wire does not have current in it, unless there is a problem, if there's an electrical short, or maybe there's some hot wire shorting out somewhere. The ground wire is usually a thick, bare, copper wire, or sometimes a green wire, and its sole purpose is to act as a safety, not a return leg. It can be used as a return leg, but it really should not be, ever. A ground is only there as a safety. The ground wire gets hooked up to anything that can become a potential path electricity can use to get off of its normal circuit. These other potential paths can be something like a metal pipe, or maybe it's the metal plate underneath the light fixture, or the little metal box behind the outlet. It can be any household appliances like the fridge, the dryer, the oven, the air conditioner, the furnace, even the mixer anything that can conduct electricity. Any of these appliances or fixtures that have electricity hooked up to them should be grounded. There should be a ground wire going to them. And I know that this can be confusing and hard to understand, and that is why we have a picture. Okay, so here's our example. We have the breaker panel right here, an outlet and an oven. So the power comes from the power pole. Here's the two hot legs. They go into the main disconnect, the main breaker. And here we have the neutral going to the neutral bus, or basically a neutral strip where all the neutrals from the breakers go. And this neutral bus is also connected to the ground bus, or the ground strip, right over here. The ground bus is connected to a ground outside, so it could be attached to a water pipe going into the ground, or it can go to a little grounding rod that is pounded into the ground. So here is our cable that is feeding power to the outlet which our oven is hooked up to. This cable has three wires inside of it. It has a hot, a neutral, and a ground. And when everything is working properly, power is sent through the red wire, through the hot leg, goes into the oven, and then comes back through the neutral, usually it's a white wire, in my example here it's blue, goes back through the blue wire, and into the neutral bus, and then out to the meter, and then to the power pole. So when everything is working normally, the ground circuit is not even in play. So this ground wire, there's nothing here, no power here. All of these green wires, no power there either. But let's talk about a couple examples where the ground wire would kick in. So this red wire that goes into the oven, let's say one night a mouse gets in from the bottom, it crawls up, and it neatly chews this hot wire right off. The hot wire then falls down, and boom, it touches the metal housing of this oven and energizes it, which means the next person that comes along and touches this oven gets a really nice big zap. And that is why we have our ground, to prevent something like that. So if there's an electrical fault, or if the wire is shorting out, this electricity normally would have nowhere to go, so this whole thing would be energized, but since there is a ground, power can then go back to its source through the ground wire. So the ground wire goes back, goes into the ground bus, which is connected to the neutral bus, 
and then goes back to its source. And the cool thing about the ground wire is that it has really low resistance. So if power does go through it, it starts pulling a lot of amps. There's a lot of power that goes through. And that overloads the breaker and trips it, hopefully really fast before any damage is done. And the frequent question people get is, can I use a ground as a neutral? And the answer is yes, but you really shouldn't because the ground is a safety. So for example, you could disconnect this blue wire or the white wire, the common, and instead hook up the green wire and the appliance would work, but you effectively just removed that safety feature. So let's go through one more example. Let's say somebody replaced this outlet and then the box, the outlet box is metal. When they were putting the new one in, the new outlet in, the hot wire got pinched to that metal box and it actually got through the insulation and it was shorting out to that box. In this example, the hot wire is still hooked up to its normal terminal, but it is also touching the metal box and the common is hooked up normally as well. The reason why electricity will go down the ground instead of the common is because the ground has a lower resistance and electricity likes the easy path. It's pretty lazy, so whatever is easier, that's the way it'll go. So if it is shorting out right here, electricity will choose the path of lower resistance, which would be the ground, and it'll go back and hopefully, once again, overload the circuit, or if there's a GFI in here, trip that and turn the power off. So in summary, the ground is a safety that hopefully will never get used. Normal operation does not involve the ground, but when something does go weird, like a mouse chewing through a wire and the whole oven gets energized, that's when the ground kicks in and hopefully turns that breaker off real fast. Well guys, and that was my simple explanation of the difference between a ground, a common, and a neutral. I hope you found this video useful and you learned something new today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to mash that like button and I'll see you next time. And if you're still here and not in the comment section below, Brother A comes up to Brother B and asks, Hey bro, why do smart people scratch their chin when they're thinking and dumb people scratch their head when they're thinking? And Brother B says, Hmm, let me think.